Politico Politica. Politics for everyone. You're still tuned in to Politico Politica with me, your host, Isabella Akinshaya. Before the break, I discussed hashtag not too young to run with our guest today, Tolu Roland Olariwaju. But now on the politics and more segment, we're looking at his journey into politics. So Tolu, you studied political science and public administration in the university. How much has the theory matched up with the practicals? Yeah, part of the theory we experienced is um, what we are trying to um, practice now. Um, before I went into uni, I'd already been participating in politics because I served my dad. I had a close relationship with him. I went out with him. I followed him for his meetings and all of that. And I had already had, um, from the jump, I'd already had passion for it. So. Going to the university to study political um, science and public administration was what I already had plans for because eventually I was still going to practice the politics. When and why did you decide to join politics? I'd always known I was going to join politics eventually because one way or the other I was involved, directly or indirectly. And I decided to run for office because of passion for change. I had the uh, opportunity to actually run and actually contest for an office and had to believe I was going to win. I contested for local government chairman in December, but I was um, told to step down. I contested again for the House of Assembly, which I actually got the ticket for the party. So do you consider your age to be an advantage or a disadvantage in the political race? It's an advantage for me because I'm um, still very young and it's a long journey. It's a long journey to the change we, we, we're actually looking for. When we say we're taking actions for our tomorrow today, our tomorrow is not um, next year, it's 10, 15, 20 years from now. And so um, the change we're expecting is going to, we're still going to be particles of the change we'll eventually do. Let's look at your choice of party, the PDP. The PDP is in the opposition in Ekiti State. Why did you choose to contest under the PDP? I started my political career under the PDP. Whatever I've done politically has been in PDP. And PDP being the opposition, I don't see anything that has to do with the election. People are voting for for change, people are voting for... You keep saying change, change, but wasn't that the mantra of the APC change? Um, the eventually, yes, that was the change we all expected, you understand? And uh, those were part of the reason why we took the decision we decided to take. No, these people are not giving us the change we want, you understand? We had, we, we've been deceived so many times, and funny enough, we the youths are the one doing bulk of the work for the election. So it's high time for us to go there and get the change we want. Let them make policies that are going to benefit the youth. How many, pol how many youths can we say in political office? How many youths do we have at the House of Assembly, at the House of Rep, that can be able to be the voice of the youths? So um, the change we are looking for is what we're actually going for to get. So my final question on politics and more will be, how are you funding this whole campaign? Because politics costs a lot of money. You're doing development projects, you're doing media. There's so much you're doing and you're young. So where's the money coming from? I'm a security consultant and I have I run the business I'm doing. And um, thank God for um, goodwill from friends, family, and some of our political leaders too as well. So um, we, are, we are not buying votes, we are doing the needful for the community, for the constituency, and for our people. Thank you, Tolu. Thank you, Isabella. We'll be going on a quick breather on Political Politica. Join us again.